Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about some of the newest medical schools that have recently opened or will be opening here shortly. The reason I wanted to make this video is because a lot of you guys that follow my channel usually stumble upon one of my videos about, you know, how to get into medical school or maybe you have a low MCAT or low GPA and you're trying to figure out the best way of getting accepted into medical school. And so generally, and this isn't for all of the schools and for all of your cases, but generally when you apply to a newer medical school, you might have a little bit of an easier time getting accepted. Um, like I said, that's not the case all of the time. And you definitely need to make sure that these new medical schools don't have any minimum requirements. Because if they do have a minimum GPA or MCAT requirement, you need to make sure that you actually hit those requirements. Otherwise, they're not even gonna look at your application. So just a disclaimer, do your own research, do your own homework on all of these medical schools so that you're making sure you're applying to the right schools that are gonna give you the best chance of being accepted in a medical school. All right, so with that being said, let's jump into this long list of medical schools that have recently opened or will be opening up shortly. All right, so starting off with the MD schools, I'm gonna be going all the way back to 2018 because these schools are still gonna be maybe slightly easier to get into as long as you're fulfilling all of their requirements. So no particular order, Nova Southeastern University, Patel College of Allopathic Medicine, California University of Science and Medicine, School of Medicine in California, Illinois College of Medicine, Hackensack Meridian School of Medicine in New Jersey, and those schools opened up in 2018. Now moving into 2019, NYU Long Island School of Medicine. This is a three-year medical school, so make sure to kind of do your homework on how to get accepted into a program like that. And then Ann Burnett Marion School of Medicine at TCU. Moving on to 2020, the University of Houston Tillman J. Fertitia Family College of Medicine, Kaiser Permanente School of Medicine. No MD medical schools were open in 2021 or 2022. So moving on to 2023, the University of Texas at Tyler School of Medicine, the University of California Merced, Baylor College of Medicine, Temple, Texas. Now going on to this year, so this year will be the first classes accepted at these next medical schools. So Charles R. Drew, University of Medicine and Science in LA, California, and then Wake Forest University School of Medicine, a new campus in Charlotte. So those are the two new MD schools opening up this cycle. Now schools that are going to be opening up here in the future starting in 2025 we have Thomas F. Frisk Jr. College of Medicine at Belmont University in Nashville, Tennessee, Alice L. Walton School of Medicine in Arkansas, and Xavier University in Louisiana. All right, so let's move on to the DO medical schools that have recently opened or will be opening this year. So in 2018, Idaho College of Osteopathic Medicine opened. 2019, Lincoln Memorial University DeBus College of Osteopathic Medicine in Knoxville, Tennessee opened. Nova Southeastern University, Patel College of Osteopathic Medicine in Clearwater, Florida. And then Philadelphia College of Osteopathic Medicine in Georgia opened in 2019. Now moving on to 2020, Lake Erie College of Osteopathic Medicine in New York, Sam Houston State University College of Osteopathic Medicine, California Health Sciences University College of Osteopathic Medicine, Edward Via College of Osteopathic Medicine, the Louisiana campus, Oklahoma State University Center for Health Sciences College of Osteopathic Medicine, at Cherokee Nation. And then moving on to 2021 schools, you had Norda Com in Provo, Utah. You had Arkansas College of Osteopathic Medicine in Fort Smith, Arkansas. And then University of the Incarnate Word School of Osteopathic Medicine in San Antonio, Texas. In 2022, we had Kansas College of Osteopathic Medicine in Wichita, Kansas. 
Oklahoma State University Center for Health Sciences, College of Osteopathic Medicine, and then Rowan University School of Medicine in New Jersey. In 2023, we had Rocky Vista University, Montana College of Osteopathic Medicine, and then Toro College of Medicine also in Great Falls, Montana. So two new Montana schools. And so for 2024, so for this cycle, we have Duquesne University College of Osteopathic Medicine in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I have no clue if I said that name right, but let's just go with that for now. And then Maryland College of Osteopathic Medicine at Morgan State University. So guys, those are all of the most recently opened medical schools that you guys are able to apply to up until this cycle. Um, there are quite a few medical schools in the works that will be opening up in the following years. So definitely keep an eye out for those schools if you're not ready to apply this cycle. So guys, hopefully this video was helpful for you. Like I said, sometimes it's easier to get into a newer medical school because there's a lot of uncertainties that people just don't want to risk. But like I said at the beginning of the video, make sure to do your homework and make sure that the these are schools that are good fits for you, that you meet their qualifications. And so with that being said, good luck to everyone applying to medical school this cycle as well as in the upcoming years.